Todd Manning held Marty Saybrook captive for nearly three months. Family and friends of Saybrook believe she was deceased. But here's the bizarre thing. Thanks. You're quoted as saying you're in love with Marty Saybrook, the woman you raped. Were you misquoted? I always knew she was in your head. That's why you could never love anyone else. Why you're always so detached. It was rape, Todd. You understood that back then. Yeah, I didn't need you shoving it down my throat. It's called speaking the truth. Besides, if memory serves, you responded by belting me in my face. Yeah, and you hit me with a shovel. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you doing here? You came here to tell me that I got what I deserved, is that it? If you think that I'm getting my kicks watching you behind bars, you're wrong. I came back to help you. You want to be my attorney? When I was in law school, <laughs> I swore I'd only do cases I was passionate about. I was crazy about you once. If I were you, that's the kind of person I'd want representing me. And if there's anyone who can go head to head with Nora Hannon, it's me. And you think that you understand why I did all this? Let's get one thing straight. Hmm? You and I both know that you're all about making other people's lives a living hell. And if you did what they say you did, I think it's despicable but guilty or innocent you're entitled to a defense and what's in it for you why would dr. Chaplin do that why would she kill herself guilt she knew her career was over rightfully so guilt I don't think that she was a bad person though she thought so okay babies are supposed to bring happiness God, I wish I could rewind it all. I wish I could just change everything. Well, unfortunately, none of us can go back. It's me, okay? I'm the problem. No, it's no, obvious. Wait. I am not going to let you I could have changed my yourself. mind. I could have had Cole and I raise the baby and not no, have brought Marcy. You did what into you this. thought was best for the baby. Cole and my dad went crazy because of my decision, okay? My mom and I told Dr. Joplin not to let them near her, okay? To keep them out of the loop. Maybe. Maybe she would have tested Cole's blood. Maybe Hope would still be alive. And maybe my dad wouldn't have turned in to a disgusting monster. What's going on? Your, your career not going so high? <laughs> <laughs> you know, <clears throat> I've been working internationally. I need to get back on people's radar. Yeah, where have you been? Because the last time I saw you on the island, you were... You were really in heat with my pilot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that took a bit of a nosedive. Last time I saw you, you were paddling off on a raft in the middle of the ocean. Just had to get back to Blair. That was a bad decision. Why'd you marry her? Same reason I married you, to get custody of my kid. A loveless marriage, poor Blair. <laughs> no, no, she's got nothing to complain about. She got the, the Delgado deal. What's that? Five million dollars to keep your mouth shut. She should have held out for more, what with inflation. She isn't worth more. You risked your life because you were so in love with her. What happened? John McBain. The situation with Marty is no, complicated. Hey, hey, you don't owe me an explanation, okay? Look, the way it ended with you and Marty, it, it wasn't fair. It wasn't. And look, I just I don't want to get heavy about this. I really don't. So whatever this is, you and me, I'm into it. I know that you're talking about Charlie, and honey, it's a topic that I think we should leave alone. Mom, come on. I mean, I saw the way you were looking at him on Thanksgiving. Natalie, please, I beg you, don't go there now. Mom, I know, I know that Charlie lied to you, but. He saved my life. And Jared's, that's got to be worth something, right? Darling, it's worth everything in the world. My God, I almost lost you. And I'm so sorry I wasn't there. OK, 
okay? I forgive you. You know, like, you, you forgave me. See how that works? <laughs> Look, Mom, good people, they, they do bad things, you know, because sometimes they, they, they just get caught up in the, in the feeling of what they think is right. But that doesn't erase the, the, the love that you have for them. I mean, you're, you're the one who taught me that. Darling, I really appreciate what you're doing, okay? It's not necessary. I forgave Charlie so long ago. Well, then what's the problem? The problem is that it would take the Broadway Limited to carry the baggage that comes along with me. So? Darling, there are two small children living in this house with us now, and I am responsible for them. And I need to be available for Jessica and her doctors, and frankly, I am still reeling from what Todd has done and your Aunt Tina. I told her I want nothing more to do with her ever again. My God, she risked your life for her own personal gain. You know, I, I'm just not a great date. Mom, you, you don't have to take all of this on. Don't I? Okay, fine. All right, even if you do. Shouldn't it be up to Charlie whether he wants to take this on? <sighs> Darling, that's the whole point. I am trying to be fair to Charlie. No, you're not. You're just being a big chicken. Excuse me? When was the last time you were happy? When I was with Charlie, okay? When I was with Charlie. So, um, Dorian Lord, that's, uh, she's really, she's some, some lady. That she is. Mm. Oh, why y'all acting so strange about it? No, oh no, nothing at all, really. Um, no, congratulations, yeah. Ooh, I'm staring clear of that one. That one, you don't have something nice to say. Exactly. <laughs> I cannot bear to see you beat yourself up like this. I'm just very upset about Dr. Joplin, okay? Her suicide was the act of a woman who couldn't bear to live with the mistake that she had made. Before I went to Dr. Joplin's office, I went to visit my dad. Hmm. And I let him have it. Good for you. I know that he's done bad things. And trust me, I hate him for that. But it's like he's two totally different people. One day he's evil, and then the next day he... He's the guy who's buying me my favorite ice cream, who's checking my homework. I just don't know what to do with all of that good stuff. You don't let it distort the real picture. You just said that your father was a disgusting monster. You're right. When I looked into his eyes, I just felt like I was looking at a stranger. Just entering my password so you can go on the internet. Okay. Oh my God. What's wrong? Dr. Joplin, she, she committed suicide. That's awful. How did you know her? She, she delivered our baby. This is gonna kill Star. Well, you need to be with her. I'm fine, go. <laughs> All right, go for it. You're gonna find out everything I already know. You're an awesome person. Cool. Take care, okay? 